Hi, this is Angelo for I1 REC and uh, also known as N2 REC. Uh, today I'm going to uh, give a short demonstration of the differences in modulation uh, between analog FM and uh, C4 FM and uh, DMR. So C4 FM and DMR are digital modulations and um, these are actually uh, voice and data. However, when you listen to the modulation or the emission on an FM uh, analog radio, you will hear only the data stream. Now, uh, for preppers, I all often um, recommend using digital if you are concerned with OPSEC, since you know you can be easily uh, listened to by other people. So those um, radio users outside of your own party or group uh, would not be easily able to listen to you. Now, in the amateur uh, world, um, it is actually illegal to use encoded uh, broad uh, encoded uh, modulations or emissions. So when we use DMR, it is not encrypted. And when we use C4FM, it is also not encrypted. However, because most users use analog radio, the likelihood that uh, your you know, transmissions can be eavesdropped upon is very low. So even if they hear, can tune into your frequency, you, they won't be able to understand your messages unless they also have the same uh, radio type. Now, on DMR, on commercial DMR, you can actually encrypt your uh, transmissions using uh, several um, encryption keys. I think uh, it's up to 256 uh, types. Uh, or it's a, um, I have yet to confirm. So anyway, just a brief demonstration. Uh, this radio is actually um, a digital radio also. As high, it, it can use C4FM and uh, analog. So right now, I've set it to FM mode. So that means um, you can hear anything on that frequency. So I also have this other radio on the same frequency. It's on FM. 4i1 REC test. So you notice you can hear the transmission. But if I switch this mode, this to digital mode, you will hear a different uh, stream. Test 4i1 REC. So it's like a modem. Okay. Now this one. It's actually um, a DMR radio, so it's tuned to the same frequency and listen to the stream. 4i1 RDC test. So you'll only uh, can only hear a TDMA transmission. But when I use another DMR radio, okay, so I can hear the actual voice. Test 4i1 RDC. Okay, it also has caller ID, so you'll know who the the other party is based on their DMR ID or call sign. Now, on the Yaisu radio, we can actually use a hybrid mode which can automatically detect between analog and digital. So if I transmit on digital, on analog, test 4i1 REC, you can hear the FM or the analog voice. If you switch the other radio to digital, it also automatically switches to digital. Test 4i1 REC. And you'll notice that there is also the uh, station ID or color ID and to REC slash D1 test. Okay, so that's just a brief demonstration of the differences in the um, stream that you will hear depending on whether it's uh, DMR or C4 FM or analog FM. So again, the intent here is uh, for prepping mostly for upside purposes. You know, don't want other parties to be able to eavesdrop on your conversations. So there is less likelihood, but of course, if you're, if you're using C4FM, it's not encrypted, unless you use an encrypted P25 or C4FM radio. But for most purposes, I would say that it's uh, 90%, uh, 90 or so percent, um, non, not eave, um, you know, safe from eavesdropping, um, because most other users are probably using analog radios. On DMR, you can get more security, but of course, on analog, I'm sorry, on amateur service, you cannot use encryption. So you'll have to use, uh, you know, the open uh, TDMA or open um, DMR. So again, this has been Angelo for I1 REC, also known as N2 REC. 7-3 and have a great weekend.